Hey everybody, this is Juan from Just One Reader and this is my August TBR. Now, I haven't done TBRs that consistently in 2016 just because I've been so busy and so crazed with life that um, it's been kind of impossible to really keep up with what I need to do. So, um, August is my last month of summer break, so I really want to make the most out of it. Um, so I actually planned like an actual calendar, like I'm not kidding, I actually made up like a big calendar for my bedroom in which, you know, I've written down what I'm going to read in which day and sort of give me like motivation to actually finish a TBR. Uh, but before I show you my August TBR, I wanted to make some sort of like announcement. I'm going to start in September a series of videos about a grown man reading Harry Potter, rereading Harry Potter. Um, obviously, a lot of people, a lot of great booktubers and fantastic people have done this sort of thing already. Um, this is no like news, it's not really that original. But I've been sort of toying with the idea of what if I do that? What if I actually reread Harry Potter as a grown man now that I'm 24, I'll be 25 in no time. Uh, so what would happen? Uh, so I was basically inspired by people like Olive from A Book Olive or the guys from Strip Carbolade and a lot of people that I've seen do this kind of series in which as a as a grown-up, as an adult person, they reread the entire Harry Potter series and they make a review for each book. Um, I thought that was really interesting. I made something kind of similar a couple of months back uh, in which I reread the first book in the series, Sorcerer's Stone, but it was not really rereading Harry Potter as an adult. It was more like some some commentary and some thoughts on what Harry Potter means to me now that I am an adult. Uh, so I'm just going to start from the beginning, from book one in the series. Uh, this is the copy that I will be reading. It's insanely beautiful. Uh, this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And I will be reading this uh, probably at the the last days of August or beginning of September so that I can do the review in September. So if you are watching and you want to read along with me and uh, sort of reread Harry Potter as an adult as I do it, uh, we I'm going to start in August. So uh, yeah, the first video in that series is uh, going to be up for September, hopefully. And in October, uh, I did this now because in October, the illustrated edition of Chamber of Secrets is coming out. So I'm going to review that in October. And then November is going to be Prisoner of Azkaban, December, Goblet of Fire, and so on until I finish up the series, which is great because I haven't reread the entire series in a long time. Okay, now enough of that announcement. Let's get on with the actual August TBR. So these are the books that I have to read in August, even if I have no um, social life or anything. This is what I have to do. This is almost like required pleasure reading. So the first book um, is the book that I'm reading right now, and that is True Grit by Charles Portis. Uh, so far, I am loving it. I think it's like a Wonderful book, but yeah, this is the first one. I'm already like 70 pages in. Then after that, I will be finally reading Swamplandia by Karen Russell. This, I just, I cannot believe I've I've put this off for so long and now I'm finally gonna get a chance to read it. Then I'm going to read How the Blessed Live by Susanna M. Smith. I was very lucky to find this on Amazon. It was unavailable for ages and Finally, it came to me. It's really short and the format is just like very quick. I think this I will be able to read it in a day Then another short one is the vegetarian by Han Kang another one that I've really been wanting to read for Ever since it came out and people have raved about it. So finally Then I have speak easy. This is a novella by Catherine M. Valente and this is a beautiful limited edition then this is one that I have never seen on BookTube really, but I saw it somewhere. I think it was on Amazon or somewhere. It might have been the book depository. 
And it turns out this was the 2015 winner of the Costa Book Award. And this is The Loney by Andrew Michael Hurley. And I know that a lot of people have never heard of this, so I'm gonna read the back. Uh, first, we have Stephen King saying, The Loney is not just good, it's great. It's an amazing piece of fiction. Uh, and the synopsis goes like this. Two brothers, one mute, the other his lifelong protector. Year after year, their family visits the same sacred shrine on a desolate strip of coastline known as the Loney in desperate hope of a cure. In the long hours of waiting, the boys are left alone. They cannot resist the causeway revealed with every turn of the treacherous tide, the old house they glimpse at its end. Many years on, Henny is a grown man, no longer in need of his brother's care. But then, the child's body is found, and the Loney always gives up its secrets in the end. What? Then I'm going to be rereading one of my favorite books in the entire universe, and it's... I always say that this is like my top three favorite book of all time. The first one being uh, The Never Ending Story by Michael Ende. The second one being The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Rizafon. And this is number three, Never War by Neil Gaiman. I absolutely adored it when I read it, but that was like more than 10 years ago. So I owe myself a reread of this wonderful piece of urban fantasy. Then I will be reading The Dumb House, another very anticipated book. Uh, the Dumb House by Burnside. And the last book I have to read in August is All the Birds Singing by Evie Wilde. All of these books in this TBR are books that I have very much anticipated, but for some reason I always leave my most anticipated reads for the summer because that's when I feel like I can actually pay attention, like read them properly the way that I want to read them. Uh, so yeah, those are the books that I will hopefully read in August. And like I said, I will also probably start uh, rereading Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone as a grown man and what I see. And of course, it's going to be a series in which I will try to be more objective and more adult and more critical of what I read, because that's something that I've tried to do uh, this year particularly, I think I've become a lot more critical with my reading, so I think this is like the perfect timing for a Harry Potter reread. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will read Harry Potter along with me. If you do, please let me know so just we can have more conversations on this topic. I will see you next time.